Hey, what's up everyone? This is Aaron. Uh, really kind of quick video about, this is a, uh, a Charge 3, um, Fitbit Charge 3, and I want to see if it has uh, the amount of radiation or, or, I, or can you turn it off. So can you turn it off or can you turn it on? Now right here I have a, a rad meter, uh, cornet. So right now I'm going to put this Fitbit way far away so it's not really going to be affected. Uh, right now on my phone I have it on Bluetooth and I have it on airplane mode. And I just want to give you an idea of what kind of radiation is going on right now. So you can see with the phone it's popping, it just popped to 25. Um, the max is 25, but kind of, yeah, 27 looks like the highest that it, um, that it jumps to. And it actually has a max. Let me turn on that, turn on the screen there. All right, cool. So this is just me recording it. The phone is right up close. Sorry, guys. So if I get the phone really close, it will jump up to, and this is just a baseline, all right? So 49, you can see max of 112. If I put that phone right here, it's not going to focus, guys. But let's just see what the max is. Wow. All right, I'm looking at it. 1800, 1700. Holy crap. So you can see right now where it says max, 1827. Okay, that's insanely high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn my phone off. Or not turn it off. I'm going to turn it on, turn the... Uh, Bluetooth off, so you can't see it, but I'm doing it, and you'll notice it in the screen here. And, I'm, and then I'm going to turn, yeah, and you can already see, well, it's hopping, it's still hopping into the 50s. I'm going to turn airplane mode. Airplane mode just went on. So you can see a massive reduction. So I just flipped it with airplane mode off. You can see, I'll turn it off, turn it back on again. And I want you to see, sorry, the lighting is horrible. Um... Really, this is going to be about the JBL, uh, not the JBL, the Fitbit Charge 3. Um, oh, let me turn the light on. There we go. Okay. So since I've turned the it on airplane mode, you can see the max is 0 .07. And what was it before, like 1400? Or I actually forgot. It was it was insane. So you can see the amount of radiation different keeping this on airplane mode. And I actually have it on airplane mode and um, power saving. I have an Android phone. Power saving makes it so there's no random background check. So that's really important, too, if you want to reduce it. So you can see a huge difference here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Charge 3, and I'm going to bring it. There it is. Okay, I'm going to place it right next to it. And you can see it's just 34. You can see where it says max, 98. You're jumping up high, 102. So you are getting pulsed with a serious amount of, of uh, radiation coming from this Charge 3 here. You can see it's on. Um, I have turned off my phone completely. Bluetooth is off. Airplane mode is off. There is no connection going on from my watch to my phone. But it is spiking high. Um, now... I also want to note that in the settings for my Charge 3, I turned off both of the, I forgot them off the top of my head, like Always Connected and the widgets. So everything that you can turn off that I saw under the settings, I have turned off. I turned off the Always Connected, maybe. I think that's what it's called. So really important here, guys. So I'll just as an example, it's popping, you know, at a high of 107. And maybe even higher if I put it on top of it. I forgot where this reads out of, but actually, let's see, RF is, oh, it actually was on the side that was closest to it. All right, cool. So let me, just for reference, turn off airplane mode. It's going to spike. You can already see it's, it's, if I get this close, it's going to spike. Well, actually, it's not even that much higher than just the watch itself. So I just turned off airplane mode, guys. I guess if you turn on Bluetooth on your phone, which I just did, now I expect it to spike really high. Now let me, I'm just going to bring the phone really close. Yep. Wow. So, all right. Sorry, guys. My phone got a little bit whacked out there. Uh, it was searching for a Bluetooth device. So you can see with, air, with the phone on, 
airplane mode is off and Bluetooth is on, it's spiked to 1827. Now, just as a reference, turn the Bluetooth off. I'm doing this, you can't see it. I'm going to turn airplane mode on. The charge is still right next to it. And we are back at around 126, as you can see from the video. I'm going to move that charge just about three feet away. And look at that. It, it does not jump. Okay. So this is super important if you are um, electrosensitive, if you want to avoid your EMF exposure. This is really critical, guys. So this is this is what I wanted to show you. I have not found a way to turn the radiation off from the phone. I turned off everything I could in the settings. And honestly, unless you have something to read the radiation like this, you really can't trust anything out there on the internet. Um, I, again, I turned off all my settings on on the uh, on the watch, and you know the watch is always on, right? Um, and I thought that by, I could turn off the ability from the watch to try to find a cell phone, but you can't. I even turned off the always on, right, or whatever that setting is. I turned off everything I could in the app in the Fitbit app on my phone. Um, and again, I'm just going to move this Fitbit right next to it. There it is. And look at that. It's a spiking 81, 85. You can see it's like the radiation is undeniable. There's the Fitbit. You can see 102. I'm going to move that away <clears throat> and no more spiking. So you know, this is with the watch, and, and a lot of people think that I've, you know, that I've that I've seen online. They're like, well, if I turn my phone off, then it's not going to be as much radiation coming from my Fitbit. And the answer is absolutely no, incorrect, completely incorrect. So it would be amazing if Fitbit could freaking figure out a way to completely turn off trying to find a cell phone, and let's say once a day you can turn on your Fitbit connection and turn on your phone, and then it can sync once a day, versus having your Fitbit always trying to find a connection so it's always sending radiation, right? And I think that's really important. So I know this video is of really, really crappy quality, guys. I apologize. But the whole point was just to get this out there on the internet, uh, really showing you that you can't turn off these, these, um, these, it's ironic, but these health watches, these watches that are having you track your health, right? Um, and actually the, the radiation I'm, I'm in right now, uh, is actually higher than ideally. I, I have neighbors with, with Wi-Fi, um, and ironically, even though this, this Fitbit is, eh, it's about two feet away right now on the desk, um, I'm, I'm still probably picking up some. Um, so, you know, keeping this far away from you is ideal. And again, like, you know, if you're tracking your heart rate and you're tracking your steps, you also want to look at, all right, well, what's the, how, how much harm am I doing by tracking, quote unquote, your health? And, and I, that's really what I wanted to share here. So, all right, guys, talk with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.